In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down a simple cover three beater from our gun cluster offense in Madden NFL 21. Now, what's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for coming by the channel today and taking the time to watch our video. My uh, channel is focused on helping you improve at Madden 21 through tips and tricks like this one. Now, um, what we're going to show you today is one of the plays that is, can be found in our Arizona Cardinals um, ebook, which you can pick up in the description. Like I said, the ebook is over 125 pages long. So if you have not already uh, picked up that guide, I would highly, highly encourage you to do that. There's a ton of detail. It has one play touchdowns against every single coverage and defense that you will face. It has pick pass protection schemes, uh, running schemes that you can do, red zone dots. It's a really, really in-depth guide shows you really truly how to build this offense but what I want to do right now is I want to show you um, a couple of things that you can do with this verticals play from the gun cluster and primarily what we're going to focus in on is the left side on that wiggly fade route which is probably one of the most important routes to have in your arsenal in Madden NFL 21 and thankfully the Cardinals playbook has a ton of these routes which is part of what makes it so good Anyways, we're going to jump right in. So verticals from the cluster and how do you beat cover three? So we're going to go over cover three and I'm just going to grab um, a basic cover three from the nickel. And you know what? We'll do three, three, five odd um, nickel, three, three, five odd. OK, so you see here just a basic cover three. Now, in order to show you this, I'm going to go ahead and just back off the linemen just because of the sheds that they can create in practice play. Now, literally all we're going to do is we are going to take Antonio Brown and we're going to put him in motion to the left side. Once he gets out here, we're just going to snap it. And what you'll see is the left side corner will completely go with Antonio Brown. And this little wiggly fade will basically be wide open. We'll show you this one more time. So like I said, and, and as long as Brady can make this throw, but you want him to, you, you want him to get that snap in motion. Um, and good old Shaq Barrett. That's why I back these guys off. Um, if you're playing regs, I would definitely recommend playing with the Packers because if you don't, you're not going to have an edge, a good. They're going to get these instant sheds if they have someone like a Shaq Barrett or somebody like that. But anyway, let me show you what I'm talking about here. So again, just get this motion over here, snap right about here, and just wait in the pocket. And what you'll see is you're just going to pass lead it up and to the left. And as you can see, Mike Evans is going to just cook, uh, is going to cook the cover three defense over the top. And this is very, very consistent. What I like about this way of running it is even if their deep third is in the middle of the field, as you can see right here, the deep third is kind of shifted over to the middle of the field. What's going to happen here, because he's on this little outside breaking pattern, that deep third is going to basically leave him alone. So one of the things you could also do is you could take Gronk and streak him up the seam and get this to be a true four verticals concept. And you see here, it's just going to torch it. As you can see, Mike Evans is going to torch this coverage to the outside. This four verticals really does make cluster, I think, usable um, because of what it can do against the man-to-man -man coverage is already really good. But what do you do when they go to zone? Well, this is a great play to mix in. So uh, and the next thing that I want to show you here. So this is going to be cover three. But what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to flip it so that the safety is on the strong side of the formation. Uh, and I'm going to try to just move him over here just a little bit just to show you what I'm what I'm talking about. This is going to kill cover three on both sides of the field. So it doesn't really matter where the safety is because of the route, the, the fade route that Evans is on is super, super important. So we're just going to streak Gronk, motion Antonio Brown to the left, and snap right about there. And what you'll see here on the left side, see now the safety is going to go to that side, and you're going to be able to hit Gronk for the one play touchdown over the top. That is what I'm talking about, about the, the, the little, um, you know, if this, then that formula that you can have within the Arizona Cardinals offensive guide. Now, one thing I do want to show you, and I'm just going to force it into the window. I just want to see if we can get it into this window. So, again, they're just going to be kind of cheating. So they might have their guy, like, right in here um, would be what I would anticipate. So if they do something like that, then what you're going to see here on this on this left side, just get that little motion snap. And what you'll see here is this little wiggly face. We're going to pass that to the left, hard left. As you can see, it's still able to beat that deep third. It's because of the wiggly fade, the, the way that he wiggles and kind of slides to the outside. The outside release of that is really what's doing, um, what's doing the job for the offense. So here I want to show you 
uh, now he's really over there. Now he's like, you know, he's basically almost in an, in, you know, into a two-man under, in, in essence, the way he's going to play. Obviously, you're going to have Gronk wide open if you see something like this. But I just want to show you. See how he drifts to the middle of the field? Hard left pass lead, get that over the top. And that time they defended it a little bit better. I might have had a bad um, timing on that on that throw. But let me show you this one more time here really quickly. And this is press coverage. Typically, cover three is going to get burnt much, much worse in press than it's going to get burnt off press. That's just been my experience. Uh, but what you'll see here, again, just a little motion of, of, God, or, uh, of Brown to the left. And right when he comes in, I'm going to throw left. As you can see, just throw left. And you're able to still get that one play touchdown. So uh, that's just it's just a really really good route against cover three. Uh, now what if they deep third right? What if they are not? I'm sorry. What if they deep half their outside guys? That's what you're probably asking yourself. And honestly, that's what I'm asking as well. What if they deep half their guys? Um, and in our Arizona Cardinals offensive guide, we have one play touchdowns against cover three invert, which is really really nice because again, that's one of the coverages that I see a lot of people going to right now. But this little simple motion right here. And we're going to snap the ball right at this point. Now, what you're going to see here on this left side is this is now wide open. Antonio Brown's route is now wide open. So if they go with the streak, if that outside corner goes with the streak, you automatically know, okay, they've probably deep half their corners. And so now what I'm going to do, um, again, that if this is in that formula, you're going to see Antonio Brown's going to be running wide open. And typically what you can do with this is you can pass lead him kind of almost up. Uh, but you'll see it right here. See here on that, that was, I think, deep half, and he still went to the outside um, on that specific play. So, you know, you just see the power in this play and what this play can really, really accomplish if executed at a high level. You know, this is something that, again, you know, this is specific. If there's someone that is, like, running this on you and that you just don't know how to beat cover three, this little play right here is going to torch it. Um, as you can see here, now they go with him. So then I'm just going to pass lead that up to Antonio Brown. And you see there it's going to be about 50-yard, 60-yard uh, route that he's going to be able to hit. Now the same thing is true on the on the right side. So the really cool part about this is it's symmetrical. They can't use her both sides. Um, and that's why vertical is such a good play. So what you'll see here on the, on the opposite side of this is Chris Godwin on this wheel route. Uh, wheel routes, torch. Uh, inverted coverages. So what you'll see right here, he's going to go on his little in route or a little wheel route, pass lead that to the right. And as you can see, I can fit that in. Now, I, I threw it just a little bit too late. Uh, let me show you what I'm talking about real quick. Um, let me go to cover three. One sec. All right, so now we're in cover three. And I just want to show you. Let me get this linebacker back into a hook curl. So this is the cover three. And I just want to show you uh, Chris Godwin's route uh, with the streak to the tight end, and let me just double check. Let me just double check and make sure that I uh, deep half these outside guys. Yes, we. Yeah, we do have them in deep halves. Okay, perfect. So these are deep halves. Watch Godwin. He's gonna get out, get over, hard right pass lead, click on, and you're gonna see that's another laser against that. So they can't use her either side. The, the routes are going to get over the underneath zones, the clouds and the purples. And you now have one play potential if they just find themselves in a cover three shell. If they're in a cover three shell with the outside thirds, the outside thirds will stop the wheel routes. The outside thirds aren't going to stop that. And uh, that route right there is one of the best routes in Madden 21, in my opinion, just because of how the play really does work well together with the motions of everything. And again, you're running back. That's your check down. He's just going to release right into here. And I'll tell you what, I've thrown a lot of that. And that route right there, honestly, really, really effective. You could put him on an angle route. You could put him, you know, if you wanted to put him on an angle route, angle route would work great from this. You could put him on a flat. Ghost routes are, are great. You could put him on a option route if you don't have running back, uh, backfield master. Um, and you'll see option routes are really good this year. But anyways, this play just is going to kill cover three is what I'm trying to say. So, um Hopefully you see the power in the cluster after this video. Um, if you want to pick up our full Arizona Cardinals playbook, it's the full playbook broken down. That link is in the description. I'd highly encourage you to do that. We've taken people from being only 100-yard passers per game every game to 
being able to throw for four, five, six hundred yards. And here's the deal with Arizona. I went an inch wide and a mile deep. I've been in an error in the Arizona Cardinals playbook since I think June uh, of 2020. And so it's been about uh, almost six months in this one playbook. We truly have discovered every single thing out of this playbook, to be honest. And it is all in this guide. It's why the guide is so dense. It's why there's so much material. And if you want to be effective on offense, I recommend going an inch wide and a mile deep, meaning pick one playbook and really, really learn it. And that's why this guide is so comprehensive and so effective because it's really devoured. I've really devoured this. This is not just a handful of money plays. This is really, really thought through high level power plays, counter plays, constraint theory plays, plays that work well off of each other, plays that actually fit together, which um, I think is critical for a scheme. They have to actually fit within what you're trying to accomplish and what you're opening because you're establishing a power play, but then you're going to have a counter play that basically looks exactly the same, that does something completely different and takes advantage of when the defense starts to overcommit. All of those types of little things that make this guide elite are in the guide. So I'd highly encourage you to pick that up. Um, if you want the rest of this gun cluster, we do have a little bit of a mini guide that we did on that for our text message members, which you can get. Um, all you got to do is text me. My number is 812-216-3644. Uh, just shoot me a text. Let me know you want to get that. And other than that, guys, we will see you on tonight's live stream at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Check out some of these other ones that you might have missed uh, until then. And we'll see you tonight at 10 o'clock on our YouTube live stream.